Hello everyone, welcome to my consolidated plan with me. This is just a quick peek at the 10 weeks that I did not film during a particularly busy period. Just took my eye off the ball and before you know it we're 10 weeks down the track. So this kit was in gold foil and uh, it worked beautifully with the colours. Um, I suppose you could have used anything else, rose gold. I don't know about silver so much but all in all I was pretty happy with this spread for April. Uh, a lovely kit from Sadie's Stickers. The name of this kit was But First Coffee. So of course it had a bit of a coffee theme and you can see that through the flavours and the full boxes throughout. I've also used some Sadie Stickers garlands for the first time. Uh, if you saw my haul you would have seen that they had been um, hauled in the last previous one and I haven't used them since then so I enjoyed using those in this spread and just bringing a little bit of gold foil to what was uh, generally a, a lightly foiled kit still very elegant though and, and quite lovely the dividers there from two little bees were particularly lovely and a little bit different to what I normally use and uh, that was a great sampler to get I've mentioned before that it's fantastic when you get when you place an order for some foiled stickers and your sampler is also a little sheet of something foiled that you can use. Florina Papery provided some of the bouquets that are used through in the florals and the lovely little checked washi at the bottom set off the floral washi beautifully. It's so nice when you get to lots of washi like that that complement each other and uh, I really do enjoy it often. For a kit, one of the first things that I go to is the bottom washi and then uh, I sort of look at the full boxes. So it's surprising just how much that bottom washi can affect my choice of kits. Often, in fact, in this particular video, you'll see that I've used two kits with very similar artwork. But uh, when that bottom washi grabs me, it's very hard to move on. So this was only a couple of spreads that I had done using the New Live Love and Craft inserts and I'm pretty happy with those they work rather well those pages and I'm getting the feel for where I want to place the date tops and headers and different things so that I can use up the the whole page of real estate I also tend to move my washi right down to the bottom so I try to use every inch of it um, I, I don't mind a little bit clear at the top so you can set off some florals but on the whole pretty happy with how this is going and uh, how we're progressing Planet Beautiful is no longer open but this one called Paris Romance was just a bit of a step out of my comfort zone using some burgundies and various shades of pink. I didn't uh, go crazy with the foiling in this one but again I did add gold to it but you could have added rose gold without any problems. Fairly simple kit but, uh, but worked well. The nice little Eiffel Towers across the bottom possibly with a hint of Valentine's Day. The other thing that I like with this kit and in various kits that I buy is when you get the contrast between the smaller washi piece and the bottom washi. I think going to that burgundy and keeping that plain against the Eiffel Towers made it look really lovely. You'll see coming up further where there's a very busy um, very busy spread and I think that has a lot to do with not breaking it up with some of those plain colours. So a lovely kit from Planet Beautiful. Sorry, she's closed. This is one of many kits that I've used of Live, Love and Craft. I do love her double boxes. That one there in the top right hand corner with the weekend banner on it is just gorgeous. The clip art and that is really cute. And this black and white theme with some gold foiling thrown in worked beautifully. I've used a couple of lovely um, circle scallop stickers in this too just for a little bit of difference. Pop will work stickers up the top. Not a massive fan of that but that's okay. Quite happy to um, you know try different things out and it's always a little bit easier when it's not being filmed to have a play with things. Despite those work stickers at the top I was very happy again with how this spread went. Um, I know initially when I first started using them I used to struggle a little bit about where to put those double boxes and she also has longer boxes and things and now I quite enjoy them. I look forward to them especially when you've got something as striking as that one up the top there. So another a love, live love and craft kit which is really 
uh, a pleasure to work with. There's always heaps. Susie's very, very generous with her kits and there's always plenty left to either do a second spread or for me to use the stickers in my day-to-day -day weekly planning. Now this next kit that I've used is from Beehaven Designs and this one is called Tea with Alice which is rather obvious because it has the theme of the Mad Hatter and Alice and, and the Tea Party. Um, the, my only concern with this one is that it was super busy. A really cute kit but I think it would have benefited from the second piece of the washi being something a little more plain and some plain headers in the kit. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for floral headers. I absolutely love them. But there was just so much going on in this kit that I really think that something plain needed to be brought in. And, you know, that's just my lesson learned when I look at those kits again. Um, it was a generous kit. It was nicely done. Behaving de Designs did a lovely job of the kit. But I think if I was going forward and using something like this, I'd add a little bit more plain so that I could break up the busyness of that lovely design. Now this next one is from Paper Shire and although it's one of my favourite designers and I love her stickers, I rarely use them and I'm not sure why, I just hoard them because I think they're so gorgeous. But in this case I did decide to use some and make up a spread, not using foil, I thought the stickers and doodles themselves were enough. Um, a lot of the stickers in this are from her freebie and uh, which I really appreciate. She's a very, she's very generous with these things. This was a cute little paper shy using um, a few of the stickers. Actually, I've got quite a large selection of paper shy stickers and I must make an effort to use a little bit more of them because I think they're super cute. I really do enjoy using them. As I mentioned earlier, I have done a couple of spreads with Live, Love and Craft and that's because I really do enjoy using them. And Susie is a local Aussie, in fact, even Melbourne girl. So on this occasion, this is just a really elegant little design. I really enjoyed using it. And of course, um, beautiful pinks, absolutely beautiful. And just enough of other colours brought in, even in the deeper hot pinks, to make this really sing. So I've added some honey inked lace borders, or I don't know what, dividers maybe they're called, at the top of the page there and I do really like that effect it's so nice I've noticed um, a couple of the American designers using those and they are really really I think they set it off so nicely this was a fun spread absolutely right up my alley rose gold foil with a predominantly pink uh, flavor in the kit you can see over in the far corner again one of Susie's sort of signature double um, boxes which are beautiful. She often fussy cuts around the washi at the bottom, which is another little feature that I love. It's those sorts of details that just make something so special. And again, I've added some florals from Fl Florina Papery here and there. And uh, yeah, this is definitely my flavor. There's no doubt about it. As hard as I try to use other things, and I do, I genuinely do make an effort to use them because I know we don't all like the same thing but uh, I, I just keep coming back to these beautiful pinks and this is a lovely kit from Susie from Live Love and Craft. So this next kit is from uh, Stickers For You by Kate and this has definitely got a winter flavour now that we're moving into June and uh, on to July and I don't always plan by season but I you know I just try and mix it up a little bit if I can but this is definitely a winter kit nine times out of ten I would put silver with blue but in this case uh, Kate has used the gold and I actually think it really looks quite lovely I thoroughly enjoyed using this kit as well again another Australian designer she does some beautiful kits I really like her foiling it's nicely balanced and quite elegant um, and after pink my next favorite color is blue so I couldn't be happier Florina Papery again featuring in some of those florals she's got a lovely little batch of um of pinks and blues and well many colors really and you would have seen them if you saw my last haul because I did get quite a few florals from her and they just add and uh, finish off a kit beautifully so very happy with this kit from uh, stickers for you by Kate you really should go and have a look at her kits they're quite lovely and as I said earlier really nicely balanced 
My apologies for using another kit from Planet, Planet of Beautiful. I appreciate that they're closed, but I did have these kits and I do need to use them up. So this one's called Dogs and Dooners and, uh, and it's another sort of snuggly, wintry, cosy one. And it's using colours of pinks and greys which is, you know, they're quite lovely. They're a beautiful, they were a beautiful quality sticker. There's no doubt about it from um, Planet Beautiful. And it's quite a shame that she's no longer open. Because I'm lucky enough to have a silhouette, I'm able to cut some of my own stickers from the printable shops. Paper Crown Planner is one of my favourites. Now, this is an old kit of hers. I had it already printed up, so I decided to use it up. I haven't added foil to it. I've just let the colour and the design do its own work. They're incredibly generous kits. There's page after page of stickers. So not only do you get a couple of spreads in, the, in your memory planner, but I can also use quite a bit of what's left over in my weekly planner as well um, they're very reasonably priced and so they represent fantastic value for money uh, and it's just a little bit of a bonus I was given my silhouette from the family for a gift and it's been fantastic next kit coming up is from Harriet Wright Designs another one of my favorite designers her kits are very feminine and very elegant and really beautiful she is a British designer and uh, it's so nice to use her kits they're so lovely uh, this can't go wrong because it's in my favorites of pink and blue and I find that with these kits the white spacing behind them just helps them sing that little bit more beautiful combination of a bottom washi with something plain even though those bows are reasonably busy there they still don't clash with the other washi in it so just adding gold foil to this which was an already gold kit again a little bit of that lace detail at the top of the date covers which I'm quite enjoying using and a few of those garlands and I was very happy with the results from Harriet Wright Designs I don't think I've ever had a kit of hers where you could possibly go wrong to be perfectly honest and yes, another Live, Love and Craft, but uh, they're so lovely. It's just worth having a few of them in your planner, that's for sure. Again, another pink one, but with a little tiny hint of blue. And this particular one, which is, I think it's called Glamour. Um, it, it really is very sweet. It's got that lovely peony uh, pink in it. And this time I've used silver foil with it, which I'm really happy with. I think that's sort of still brought out the pinks and blues quite nicely uh, those double boxes are a bit of a treat and all in all the kit is nicely balanced I did use a couple of circular scalloped pieces and it worked out really well so the next designer is a new one to me and that is Miss and Meow and she does some really beautiful kits as well and this particular one which is called Cozy Nights um, is again in the blues and pinks uh, different shades of blue and a little bit more of a peachy pink but really quite beautiful and paired with silver a really really beautiful spread I'm sorry I didn't spend a little bit more time showing you through that one I haven't done it justice at all so moving on to yet another live love and craft I promise this hasn't been sponsored by Susie it just so happens that I have quite a few of her kits and they are lovely to use and this one is in sort of more of a plummy pinky shade plan like a boss I've uh, teamed this with rose gold foil and enjoyed doing it again look at those two double boxes up in the top and down in the left they are really quite lovely and especially at the moment with lockdown and plans not quite as busy as normal it's the perfect way to help take up a little bit of space in your planner and still get a lovely result so the next spread coming up is from print petticoat bandit so this is another one of my favorite printable kits in this occasion I actually foiled this kit as well as printing it and it turned out really well I was very happy with the results so this was a bit of a first for me um, a foiled and printed kit from home again fantastic value these kits they um, they're very very reasonably priced and you get lots of bang for your buck and then we move up to the last one another live love and craft but we're back to um, planning now and I'm not going to be weeks and weeks behind I'm actually going to be getting on track I don't like to be any more than two weeks behind the date 
So coming up in the next couple of spreads is a lovely deep blue one from Live, Love and Craft. And then I move on to the most beautiful um, lilac shade. I wished I'd saved this for my mum's birthday. She loved lilacs. But they will be a full plan with me now that I'm back on track. And hopefully you will enjoy seeing those created. Thanks for being with me. See you in the next one.